Hi, welcome to Otaku Corner Artist Showcase first episode. In this new episode series, we are inviting local Brunei artists to have a short interview with them. Our main purpose is to inspire the beginner artists who are not sure on how to start. So we are making this video just to give them ideas and tips and hopefully you guys will find these helpful too. So please, let's welcome our artist, Mocha! Yay! Hi Mocha. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Please introduce yourself. My name is Mocha Chino, but you all can call me Mocha, and I am specialized in digital art, art, and illustration. Yay! So Mocha, I have a couple of questions for you, so I hope you're ready to answer that. I will answer as fast as I can. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the first question is, how long have you been drawing? I think, I think more than 10 years. 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Um, and I got serious into it when I, I entered uh, Form 6. Form cause, 6. Yeah. Because yeah. I really, really wanted to improve my drawing skills. And yeah, I do a lot of anime drawing back in primary and secondary school. But it's like, it kind of feels stagnant for some reason. Then I kind of got the answer when I. Form 6 teacher, oh bless her, she kind of gave me that advice. You can continue drawing anime, but you can also di diverse, uh, expand your skill set. You don't have to forget where you where, uh, where you started. You learn a new set of skills and try to apply to your current, current drawings. You really wanted to be the best of what you're good at. Oh, yeah. Nice. So my next question is, what inspires you to draw? What inspires me? Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't really know because I kind of started to draw because I you enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's like my first encounter is like reading encounter of anime is like reading Doraemon. <laughs> like my brother, my my brother had this Doraemon collection. Like my uh, it was a gift from my uncle. So I just, yeah. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I want to try and draw that. So I'm like, I'm a kid, so I'm like, okay, check. I'm going to imitate that. And then when I got to secondary, I have I made a lot of friends. Like, and they draw anime. It was a really cool anime. But I was inspired more by Tsubasa. Art. Clap. Art. Art. Oh. art yeah. That's how I actually want to learn more, more on anime art stuff. I mean, I have a different set of art style that I kind of learned throughout, throughout my life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where I'm like, okay, I want to try to start drawing this seriously. <laughs> so I made a lot of OC. Do you have a background in art? Yes, I definitely say I do, I do have a, it's like educationally, maybe started on form six. Mm -hmm. I say like learning more about uh, fundamental arts, like learning about art history and then exams, art exams. <laughs> Sounds then, fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> but then after Form 6, I started to be more independent, like doing self-study basically. So I learned more through YouTube, doing uh, watching a lot of tutorials, following a lot of artists, uh, local and international, which is, it, it helps. I still, to this day, need to learn more about fundamental because mm -hmm. I'm not on that high level skill yet though mm -hmm. so I have to, uh, to make sure that I don't get rusty every uh, time yeah. yeah so who are your biggest inspirations oh I got like two category two categories on that okay I'll start with the locals my art senpai mm -hmm. uh Mus Musfira uh her Instagram is Muanesu check check her out like her art is Beautiful because of her realistic. It's like, it's like there's something about her art style really. It kind of attracts me. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. oh, it's like when you look at it, like so so beautiful. <laughs> like especially the 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 way she uses colors and her painting style. Like you guys should really check her out. And uh, there's one and then another. Uh, uh Ivy Benjamin. Uh, the local artist as well. Like. And his, uh, the art theme as always, so beautiful. 
and a friend of mine, uh, Nina, which I don't know if she has her art posted on Instagram, so I'm not sure. But her line art, her pen and ink is really detailed, so point. And I learned from them. And internationally, I got like mostly. I think there's one is like a old uh, illustrator. He's from the golden age era illustrator. Uh, JC Landecker. Don't know what to do. 
job. So when you look at when you look at it, it's like, oh, damn. Like you feel you're gonna get feel discouraged because of that art block, right? So for me, it's fine. It's like it's it's kind of like an indicator that okay, I think it's time for you to take a break. I'm glad that your brain take a break and just do something else. Like, do something else that you you, you like. I don't know. <laughs> Up to you, that. As long as your brain gets enough rest for you to be productive again. What is the best piece of advice you've been given? You have been given. Uh, I mean, I do. A lot of people gave me a lot of advice when it comes to things, but this one advice I always kept to heart the most uh, is from my from my friend, who's also a former boss of mine, and she kind of gave me this one book, a poem, as a as a gift. I don't know, when we all had that trip to Singapore mm-hmm. and I went, ba- I went back and then when I look at the first page there's a message to me, a quote and I quote uh, to Mocha um, please believe in, believe in yourself which kind of hits me hits me hard in a way that it feels that uh, I always have that insecurity of I'm not that confident type of person so whatever I always about the things that I do, the drawings that I want to put about to post. Usually that's usually how the same feeling as how beginner artists wanted to start to share their work. You know? Yeah. I can I can understand that feeling. And it can it's like I don't really have that confidence on my own work. I don't even know what to how to describe that feeling. But it kind of gave me that confident boost to okay. Just do it. Just do whatever activities are. If you're having an event, they're opening a table there. Mm-hmm. Just join. And then if they're having a competition, just do it and then just submit it. Don't be afraid of failure. Mm-hmm. Just make it as a learning, a stepping stone. Yes. To achieve better. Mm-hmm. So the last question for Mocha is, what advice would you like to give to those who are new and want to pursue this path? Oh, <laughs> all I can say from my experience, keep on drawing. If you if you uh, wish to study fundamentals, so mm-hmm. to understand more, to improve anatomy, color skills, and all I can say is uh, just be active. Be active on events. Mm-hmm. Like if you choose to be part of a event, selling event. Yeah. Expose your creative work to people. That's yeah. It's part of learning as well. If if they comment, if they critique something, don't take it personally. But just take it as a something for you to pick pick on and try to improve from them. Mm-hmm. Like show them that you're better. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. And the comments is. If it if the comments doesn't look like a critique but it's more like a like a rude remark on things it, it doesn't it, they don't they don't give you like a, a valid criticism just ignore it okay <laughs> don't try to fight them because they crave for the for attention. the attention just I would say if, just ignore it so just yes, keep doing just keep doing what, what you like yeah. yeah. There's no point of trying to prove a point to them if they're just gonna if they just not, if they're not gonna provide any criticism. Okay. Yes. And okay. kinda like you will have someone that would like your art. Yeah. And there will be someone who are happy with it. But you should focus on the one that who likes right. your art, yeah. right? And you're drawing for you. Not yeah. for not, not not for them. Mm-hmm. Like you're not trying to give them what they want. You enjoy enjoying that because you really want to draw that. That's how. That's how I usually. That's how I perceive it, uh, to to think of it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all the questions that we have for Monka today. Thank you, Monka, for your time answering all of them. Thank you for having me, and I really hope it kind of helps the question for the young artists. Yes. 
So you can find her on Instagram, all her social media accounts will be linked in our description box below. Thank you guys for watching, we hope to invite more local artists soon. Don't forget to subscribe to Otaku Corner YouTube channel and see you guys next time, bye!